Hey everybody, it's John, AK Smelly, and I'm hanging out here in Evansville, Indiana at moremusicandmoreguitars.com. And today we're going to do a brief spec rundown and some sound samples of this. This is the Gretsch 6609 TFM. T for tremolo, FM for a flame maple top. So this is the broadcaster, which is not technically like a new model for them, but in the grand scheme of the Gretsch timeline, it's a fairly new model, guitar model for them. Um, and I think it came out around 2017. I'm probably wrong. You can just check it out. But it is a little bit newer model. It's cool. It's got the double cut. Um, and this one is a pretty fantastic uh, version of this guitar. Um, this is, they call this the Players Edition. And we're gonna run through the specs. This is like a laundry list of specs. I'm gonna do my best. Um, just keep in mind that specs, schmecks, if it's a great guitar, it's a great guitar. And this one has kind of that little extra bit of something, which it's a premium guitar. So it should have a little bit of extra something. So we're gonna start up here with the headstock. It does have locking tuners, which I'm seeing a huge kind of upward swing of guitars that are just coming with locking tuners, which is great. Uh, you have a Graph Tech Tusk Nut, Tusk with a Q, so Tusk, Tusk, it's a Tusk Nut. And that's on there, you know, to kind of keep everything nice and slick because you also, of course, have the Bigsby down here. And when you're doing this with it, which I'm not going to do right now because I just tuned it, um, it helps keep it in, in tune so, you know, you're not getting binding up here at the nut. So that's a nice upgrade as well. Uh, the neck is maple with a ebony fretboard and a 12 inch radius. Um, I would call it a medium kind of profile. It's not too big, it's not too small, it's just right. And then the frets, uh, the fretwork is immaculate, which again, this is a premium guitar, so it, you would expect that and they did not disappoint. So we get to the body and obviously, so the FM is flame maple top. Now there'll be pictures, you can check out the pictures. The guitar <laughs> looks like this in every single direction. It is. It really is a very lovely guitar. This is probably too fancy for somebody like me to be holding it, but here we are, and we're all holding our breath, right? Um, it is a semi-hollow body electric, so that means that you're kind of hollow here, and like in here and everything. And then down here you have a tonal block, and I think one of the main things about this is that it's a spruce tonal block. I think I, that's what I was reading. And the properties of that, the reason for that, the value of that is, I have no idea. It's just Gretsch said, hey, it's a spruce maple, or a spruce top, or sorry, a spruce block in here. So I'm just going to trust that it does something pretty magical. We'll find out, I guess, together. Uh, and of course, you have the Filtron pickups um, and a relatively simple layout. You have kind of a master tone control, and then you've got a volume control for each pickup, three-way selector and then the master volume which I think is awesome it's kind of reminds me of like having a high quality volume pedal on your pedal board in that with the volume pedal a nice one anyways when you pull it back it doesn't really change the tone of your guitar it keeps all the frequencies intact it just makes it quieter and that's what this does I I have some guitars that you can roll the volume back on and it stays clear as a bell. And I have some that I roll the tone or volume back and the tone is just, it's too dark to use. So I think this is a pretty fantastic idea. Uh, and then other than that, you have the Bigsby and you know, you have this bridge here and, and everything. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's, you know, there, there's actually a lot going on on this and you can get a pretty wide range of tones with everything that's involved. I'm gonna try to keep things simple for my own sake, if that's okay. And we'll go through some tones. Now in the little intro there, I was playing clean on the neck pickup, which is, it's a great sound of neck pickup. We'll go and big tones, right? middle position. Nice also. Probably one of my favorite middle positions I've heard on a dual pickup guitar in a while. Okay. 
and then the bridge. Kind of twangy almost, right? So let me kind of demonstrate the master volume just real quick. Pretty bright. So we've demonstrated that before in some other videos, but I just really do like that feature. Okay, so should we get a little crunchy with it? Maybe not what you would think for a Gretsch guitar, but we actually kind of dug this when we were goofing around earlier. All right, on the bridge pickup. Is that pretty awesome, actually? That's pretty cool. That sounds great. All right, let's try it in the middle. Let's go to the neck. That's awesome. Totally did not expect to go in this direction in this video, but these pickups sound fantastic through this amp with some gain on it. I'm absolutely kind of <laughs> blown away right now. So there you go, folks. Obviously, the secret to a great metal tone is a semi-hollow electric Gretsch guitar. <laughs> you heard it here first. Even if it is a little out of tune, just wiggle it. <laughs> so it's pretty fun. So yeah, this is a very upscale guitar that will do all your pretty stuff and all your raunchy stuff as well. And weight wise, it's very nice. Like if you're like me and your back is, uh, it's pretty cool. So this is a really, really cool guitar. We were pretty excited about shooting this anyways, but throughout the course of this video, I have became even more excited about it. So, so I don't know how many, we, I think we only have one of these, is that right? We just have this very one and this very one has some, that, like I said, some kind of player mojo going on. It's very comfortable to play and it sounds fantastic. So if you're interested in this guitar, if you have any questions about it or just questions in general uh, about guitars, please, you can get a hold of us through the website or you can call down here and talk to one of our sales associates. Uh, you can make a comment you know, in the viewer comment section and we'll try to get back with you. So this is cool. Uh, definitely, if you're watching the video, go check out some pictures so you can really see how gorgeous it is like from all angles, from the back and everything. Um, this has been pretty fun. I enjoyed playing this guitar. I'll probably never get to play it again, so it's a special day for me, right? Anyway, my name's John, and you can call me Smelly, and I will see you in the next video.